Okay, let's look at more trig identities. Um, so these ones are called sum and difference. Um, so I'll just leave them here and we'll kind of see what their use is. Um, but the idea is, is if you have cosine of pi over two plus pi over three, um, it might be tempting to say cosine of pi over two plus cosine of pi over three, but it doesn't work like that. So we have to use these identities instead. Um, so it's a little messy, so let's just mess with it. So cosine of five pi over 12. Um, that's something we don't know how to do, right? We don't know over 12 on the unit circle. So I'm going to try to rewrite it as two fractions that we do know. So in this example, I'm just going to choose ones I know work and then show you why I didn't choose other ones later. But five would be two plus three. So I'm going to rewrite this as cosine of three pi over 12, which is pi over four, plus two pi over six, 12, which is pi over six. And we know both of these on the unit circle. So that's why we did this. So these identities are just going to allow us to find more angles than before. So I'm going to use the formula. This is the plus for cosine. So I'm going to use the first one. And then we'll find all these values. So it'll be cosine of pi over 4 times cosine of pi over 6 minus sine of pi over 4 sine of pi over 6. Right, so pi over 6 is my x2, x1 is pi over 4. Cool, and now we know how to find all these. So we're doing a lot of work for like one single thing, but it's what we have to do when it's not on the, from our standard unit circle. So let's find um, pi over 4, and then we'll come back to pi over 6. So pi over 4 was halfway. So that's that nice like medium length, if you remember the shortcut I showed you which is root two over two and root two over two. So in this case, both cosine and sine are root two over two and root two over two. So I'll write that for those two. And then let's draw pi over six separately. So pi over six is shorter. So that means we have the short side for vertical, so that's one half. And we have the long side for horizontal, that's root three over two. So cosine is root three over two because it's always the x. And then sine will be one half because it's always the up and down side. So hopefully this is helping us review the unit circle a little bit too. I really like to draw it every single time. I think it really helps. So I'm gonna simplify this root two times root three over four, which is root six over four. And then we get root two over four minus root two over four. And you can't subtract square roots, so like that's not root six minus two. It doesn't work like that. So we'll just keep them separate and that's our final answer. Let's try um, sine of pi over 12. So we'll use a similar identity for pi over 12. So I'm gonna try to rewrite it as two angles that we know better. So I'm thinking subtraction will work better here because pi over 12 is so small. So we can't do like 5 pi minus 4 pi over 12 because we don't know those values. We don't know 5 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12. Uh, but maybe we know 3 pi and 2 pi over 12. Let's see what those are. So that would be pi over 4 and pi over 6. So those are ones we already know. Um, you could also do 4 pi over 12. There's always more than one answer. And 3 pi over 12 because those would be what? Pi over three, which is something we know, and pi over four. So sometimes there's more than one answer, but we just wanna make sure they simplify to angles that we know on the unit circle. So let's use the subtraction identity. So we're not memorizing these identities, we're just using them. And then we'll go ahead and simplify. So we get sine of pi over four, and then cosine of pi over six minus cosine of pi over four and sine of pi over six. And we actually just did these angles, but I'm gonna do it again because I feel like we can never get enough practice. So pi over four, those are my medium sides. So they would both be root two over two. And then pi over six is that short one. So the short side is one half and the long side is root three over two. 
All right, so then let's put these together. So sine of pi over four would be the up and down. Cosine of pi over six would be sideways, root three over two, minus, and then we get cosine of pi over four, so that's this one, root two over two, and then sine is one half. And we actually end up getting the same answer. Just a coincidence. Cool. So I'll see you back for the next video where we can um, look at new formulas. But we're not going to memorize these. Just make sure you can use them so that you can find uh, some angles that we can't typically find off the unit circle. And we'll just leave everything in exact form. So you don't need to calculate this. This is called exact. All right. See you next time.